come in here every day and say the same thing. There's things that you did well that we have to build on and things that we need to improve on that we will improve on. Uh, I think the thing that I would take away from tonight is this. Uh, our offense responded in the second half to the challenge that was presented to them at halftime. Um, our defense kept us in the game and our special teams kept us in the game in the first half with some outstanding play. Uh, if, if, which is a horrible word, but if we could just find a way to put it together as a football team, we could be pretty darn dynamic. And that's the challenge. And we're trying, those young men are trying, they care, uh, it's important to them. Uh, as coaches, we're looking for answers everywhere. But I think it's pretty evident we can play some really good defense, we can play some good specialties, we can play some good offense, we've just got to do it all at the same time. But, uh, you know, winning a game in the South against Arizona at home is, uh, is, a, is a step in the right direction. Uh, we've got a great challenge this week with uh, Arizona State. We suffered a couple injuries. Um, I really don't have any answers for you yet on those. I know you saw Cole come out uh, on, cru in crutch on crutches. Uh, ish, it was his shoulder, it sublexed, and then it went right back in. Um, so we'll see where those guys are, and uh, we'll go on. I thought Andre James stepped in for Colton and did a nice job. I thought Josh uh, held it together when he could have gotten very, very frustrated. and, and uh, did a nice job in the second half. I thought it was great that Theo was able to come in and give us a spark. I thought that uh, Darren Andrews gave us a spark. I thought that uh, Kenny Walker gave us a spark. I'm disappointed in the amount of drops that we had tonight. That's something that we have to improve upon if we want to, you know, be that team that I believe we can be in terms of, you know, hitting on all cylinders with all three phases at once. Uh, we still got to do a better job of running the football. I don't care what they're giving us up front, uh, what kind of movement, what kind of uh, you know unscouted looks. Um, I believe that we should be able to run the football against anybody, and I think our players do and our coaches do, but belief is not enough. We've got to get it accomplished. So big word is uh, if, 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 if. And uh, we'll, get, we'll just get back on Arizona State, and hopefully we can, we can eliminate that big if. So any questions? You mentioned the challenge at halftime. What was the challenge? You know, the things that we talk about within the team, uh, no disrespect, they, they stay within the team, you know. Um, I think that's important to protect the sanctity of the core. Uh, what's said in the locker room stays in the locker room. What's said, you know, in the meeting room stays in the meeting room. Um, but they're a challenge, a challenge to play better. You went with Nate Starks, who's kind of the feature at tailback. What was the decision there, and how did you think he did? Thought, I thought he did okay. I thought as the game went on, he did better, and I think, you know, him, Playing well is a function of you know the other ten guys playing well, you know blocking for him and him having good vision. Uh, you know we think we that we've got five good backs. Um, we think there's three that you know are veterans that have played Nate and uh, Soso and Bolu. Uh, we like them all a lot. We like Brandon Stevens a lot. We like Jalen Starks a lot. But uh, you know our decision this week was to was to use Nate. Um, he's the most experienced of those three. He's got a great combination of power, speed, slipperiness, elusiveness. He can catch the ball. He can pass protect. Uh, and, and I'm a fan of his. You know, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. But those other two guys, the other four guys, are also good players. So we'll continue to use them all. Uh, coach, right here. Um, oh, right here. No, that's okay. Um, we've all seen Josh, you know, make great throws. And, and you know, obviously, he's a great, great, great player. But uh, tonight, he was hitting on the run, falling down, doing some things that we haven't seen, that, that I haven't seen. Yeah, it, it, here's what I see happening with Josh, is I, I think our expectations of him are just incredibly high, and sometimes re unrealistically high. Um, but what I've seen out of Josh in the last three weeks, behind the scenes, lends itself to the type of performance that you're recognizing tonight. I've seen a young man that has really stepped up his game in terms of studying, taking notes, applying what he's learning in practice on a daily basis. Uh, there's a process, you know, there's a process to becoming a good player. And uh, for Josh, for so long, it was so easy. He was just the best guy out there. And he just hopped around and he just slung it to the open guy. Well, that's just not real football. And uh, the talent's better around, uh, uh, on the other side of the ball. And he's accepting that challenge. And he's really starting to get it. And when he gets it, 
he is so special. So he has to keep working at it. The, 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 the hat's on him to keep working at it. If he keeps working at it the way he has the last three weeks, then we will all be very happy. And if he doesn't, then we'll all be very disappointed. So it's up to him. Coach, Kenny Young seems to really be hitting his stride the last couple of weeks. What have you seen click with him? I've seen a level of confidence out of Kenny. I see a young man that understands where he's supposed to be in the defense, that, that's playing with really tremendous discipline. I see a guy that can run fast and tackle well. I see a guy that uh, is stout against the run inside, can, can get to the edge. I see a guy that's good in pass coverage. But I think more than anything, you've seen a guy that really understands now how to play his position in this defense. And when you do that, you play with certainty. And when you play with certainty, you can play fast. And that's what I see. Okay. Uh, you talked about the preparation you know, that Josh has been doing uh, leading up to this, but have you also kind of maybe seen uh, an emotional development with him with his yeah. maturity? Absolutely. You know, and I, I think Josh gets the credit, but I think that, uh, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize the, the effect Marcus Tuiasasopoulos had on him. You know, when you, you think of, and I don't know how you guys, how many of you guys got to see Marcus Tuiasasopoulos play, Tuiasasopo play football, but uh, he's the only player in the history of college football that has thrown for 200 yards and rushed for one, thrown for 300 and rushed for 200 in a, in a single game. He's the Rose Bowl MVP, Rose Bowl, M slow down, Rose Bowl MVP out here. He was not a wildly talented player. He was very talented, but he got by on grit and study and toughness and preparation. Josh, on the other hand, is this wildly talented guy that always got by on talent. When you combine those two, and they start to accept each other, then you see something really special. Because you can take two, his grit, and his preparation, and his film study, and his toughness, and his will to win, and you put it with Josh's talent, and all of a sudden you got a pretty special football player. You, you mentioned Theo Howard, obviously he got a lot of rave reviews during the fall. Some receivers were saying he was the best guy among the group. What was it like for you to see him make that impact? Early in the it was great. You know, we needed that. We needed that spark. We needed a guy to catch a, a little hitch and put his foot in the ground and turn up field and make a play like he did. You know, uh, it's only a, I think it's only a second catch of the year. You're going to see a lot more Theo Howard. You're going to see a lot more Theo Howard. I promise you that. That kid is special. We like him. The game's not too big for him. Obviously, you know, he's got to get more physical. He's still pretty slight. But uh, I, I feel like I can trust Theo Howard and Howard, and I think Josh does. And we want guys out there that our quarterback and our coaches can trust. Uh, the um, sportsmanlike uh, conduct penalty that you drew, what, what, was, what happened there? I got a flag. I, yeah. yeah, I know that. But just, <laughs> what, what, what triggered that? You know what? I'm going to take that up with the league and just leave it at that. It's, uh, yeah. So you still have an objection to Do I have an objection? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> Coach, you made a change with uh, taking out Ish in the return game, putting Randall and uh, Darius in. What was behind that decision? How do you think they did? Well, Ish got hurt on kickoff returns. That's why Randall mm -hmm. went in on kickoff returns. Mm -hmm. On punt returns, um, they run that little rugby half roll stuff that people are starting to do because, you know, the, they get these Australian guys and all that. Um, so what we did was we the double returner looks. We had Darius Pickett back there with Mossy Johnson, two guys that have excellent hands. I don't know if you guys know this, but Darius was an outstanding baseball player. He could probably play in the major leagues. He's a great decision maker. He can handle the ball on the hop. Uh, he can track it through the air. And so that was really the reason that we did that, just because of the way they were moving. And then in the kickoffs, we had Ish in there until he got hurt. Uh, you know, in the days leading up to today, Josh had mentioned, you know, that a play here, a play there, you guys could be undefeated, you guys could be a top five team. At this point in the season, do you have a gauge for how good you guys are? Well, if, yeah, I mean, we're three and two. That's what we are, we're three and two. And if we can get it right at the same time, we can be really good, if. All right, thanks. Thank you.